Ang po ay kinopya ni Dr. Rabinay. Yan po ang Q Garden sa London. Today on Rappler. Meron pong mansion with British Palace Garden. A former ally reveals details of the allegedly extravagant lifestyle of Vice President Judge Omar Binay's wife. It's not the number. It is the body of commitments of a community to look after the welfare of each other. Albay Governor Joey Salcedo says zero casualty is not a statistic, it's a commitment. And Jennifer Lawrence says the leak of her nude photos is a sex crime. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. Welcome to Rappler, your social news network. The Senate wraps up its inquiry on the alleged overpriced Makati City Hall building Wednesday. The Binays and the contractors did not attend the hearing. Former Makati Vice Mayor Ernesto Mercado presents a detailed view of the Binays property in Batangas. Yan nung property niyan ay binubuo ng 35 hektaryang lupain, 350 hectares. Yung pong luneta ay meron po yung 58 hectares sa pagginugil din nyo. Katumbos po yan ng anim na luneta. Meron ho dyang air-conditioned piggery na dalawang pong bahay. Meron pong mansion with British Palace Garden. Yan po ay kinopya ni Dr. Rabinay. Yan po ang Kew Garden sa London. The Philippine national government pledges to augment Albay's dwindling funds with Mayon volcano expected to erupt soon. Interior Secretary Mar Rojas on Wednesday says President Benigno Aquino approved funds to support evacuees for at least three months. More than 55,000 people are in 45 evacuation centers all over the province. Rappler's Disaster Information System Project Agos launches its hashtag Zero Casualty campaign Wednesday. Along with the Australian aid and government and non-governmental institutions, Project Agos explores what it takes to make hashtag Zero Casualty happen, both at the national and local levels. Albay Governor Joey Salcedo says Zero Casualty is a community's body of commitments to look after each other. First, let me disabuse what zero casualty is all about. It's not a statistic. It's not a number. It's a body of commitments by a community to ensure that development can proceed amidst all the risk. We consider zero casualty as a good goal, as a holy desire of the people of Albay. And in order to achieve... He says the province aims to build lasting infrastructure that could withstand the elements. Lagi yung naririnig yung building back better. Actually, the philosophy should be build better. Take away the back. Why should you just erase the back? Ompong, internationally known as Vong Fong, is now a super typhoon, but will not go near the Philippine landmass. State Weather Bureau Pagasa on Wednesday says as of 10 a.m., Ompong is at 1,080 kilometers east of Tugagarao in Cagayan Province. The U.S. Navy Joint Typhoon Warning Center says Ompong carries maximum sustained winds of 250 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 306 kilometers per hour. The Japan Meteorological Agency says Ompong's strength is, quote, similar to Haiyan or Yolanda. Weather Philippines says Ompong is causing heavy rain in, part of, in parts of Bicol and southern Luzon, but no public storm warning signals been raised in any part of the country. Let's now look at Rappler's wrap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number six, the captain of the ill-fated South Korean ferry Sewol admits he could have done more to get passengers to safety. Captain Lee Jun Suk on Tuesday said he was paralyzed by the shock of the sinking boat. Lee did not issue an abandoned ship order, which investigators say kept many of the passengers inside. There were 476 on board the ferry when it capsized April with 306 people dead. At number nine, Hollywood actress Jennifer Lawrence speaks about the leak of her nude photos. In magazine Vanity Fair's November issue, Lawrence says she considered writing an apology, but realized she had nothing to apologize for. She says, I was in a loving, healthy, great relationship for four years. It was long distance, and either your boyfriend's going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. And at number 10, 
Ex The Smiths vocalist Morrissey reveals he went through treatment for cancer. Fans are shocked over the news. In an interview with the Spanish Daily, Morrissey discloses he had cancerous tissue removed four times, saying, If I die, then I die. For the full top 10, visit Rappler.com's The Rap. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Click how you feel and your vote comes down to the mood navigator. If we take a look today, middle of the front page, the story that's gotten the most number of votes is the hearing from today, Mrs. B. Nye's Royal Taste, Q Gardens, Air Con in a Piggery, 1% inspired, 1% sad, and a whopping 91% angry. That red, bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are angry. That is Rappler's newscast for today, Wednesday, October 8, 2014. Visit Rappler.com and watch our newscast Monday to Friday. Tell us how you feel on our mood meter and help us crowdsource the mood of the day. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today. Yan po ang Kew Garden sa London.